Good morning and happy Friday, everyone. Well, where did this journey begin? Who's to say where this journey began? Well, who knows, but here's where we'll start. So, I know that we spent a lot of time, years, watching homesteading channels and falling in love with the whole glamorized story so the land i know they show their struggles too but man they make it a beautiful story you know and the hollards and, and justin road wild wonderful off grid jake and nicole they're all freaking awesome man sell this wonderful story that yeah and you just believe you can do it and however i'm a little bit more cautious right. so after I fell in love with it with you and seeing you continue to fall in love with it even more, we decided we needed to find a way to make a business because we had to have a way to pay for all this stuff. You can't just come out here and, and wing it, I don't believe. I don't believe that you could do that. So we spent some years trying to figure out what could we do. Yeah. And all those same homesteaders that we watched all talked about all kinds of wonderful businesses. Yep. You know, and little pieces here and there. And a lot of them kind of concerned me. It wasn't that I didn't believe they could do it. It was something that I was concerned about us being able to do in such a rural area. Right. Right. Which today is trying to make money off of uh, a rural economy. So it's really difficult. And I didn't want to work too hard for this, but didn't want it to be extremely difficult. I want to be able to do all the things that we'd seen Justin Rhodes do and, and the Hollards and all of them, all the same old stuff that, but they were selling their gardens and their animals and stuff like that, right? They're yeah. showing us how to make a business out of it yeah. in pieces. Right. We want to just do those things and enjoy them. Right. What could we do that we could do from our own property? It has to be a business that is low startup costs. It has to be a business that is low operating costs. So we could blow this business up and, and invest lots of money into it. Or you can start it out as, as little as we are and it is still profitable. We also wanted to have something that wouldn't take us a mountain of knowledge to get started with exactly didn't need to go to college right it doesn't take i don't believe a rocket scientist now there are probably scenarios where the rocket surgeons can make a lot more money at this than we can whatever's <laughs> <laughs> probably not going in there huh so one, one thing we did find as far as like the knowledge is concerned is nature already provides all the answers for us. Yes. Right? We have we've found evidence everywhere we look that nature will, will provide this for us. All we're trying to do now is mimic nature and maybe juice it up some so that we can elevate the productivity. Yes. Right? Which is what we're doing. It's very little very little cost as far as I'm concerned you know we haven't made any money yet no but we also haven't harvested anything yet so it is right. a little bit more of a long game right you're not gonna start this business up today and start making money tomorrow and I remember I remember trying to figure out what we were going to do because like we had so many so many ideas and you know we had done a lot of research for years like we've been on our property now for a year, but this this portion of the journey journey only started just a year ago. Right. Right. But the all the the dreaming and the researching was years. We spent years. Yes. We have been dreaming of our next venture from our previous business. What what would our new business be? You know we. We wanted to spread our wings and leave the city and uh, live a little bit less complicated lives. Uh, it, do, it isn't less complicated so far, but uh, the freedom that we're feeling out here is just truly amazing. Like this is what we wanted was to just be in nature. You know, we love it. We spent all of our time traveling, all of our free time 
traveling and just getting away from the city so this has been our dream just to have our own little piece of you know serenity really yeah it's a big huge chunk of forest mm -hmm. yes you know, 25 acres of forest that's what we live on today we spend all of our time trying to escape the city yes every chance we got what camping the, yeah yes. traveling yes and in our travels is where we found what we found right we even thought one time we were going to be nomads <laughs> right we're like hey yes. let's travel everywhere. what about the time we were going to be truck drivers truck drivers yeah <laughs> i mean we thought about that we entertained so many different options yes. like how could we do this right and be able to make it happen yes yeah right? how, how could we what business were we going to do so so yeah. you we know. considered you know selling on ebay um and, and you we know, still those do are still, those are still options for um smaller incomes but we are trying to make one solid business that we could have provide maybe even jobs for people in this community so yeah, maybe um right now we just wanted to pay for our dreams right yes there is money in just about People can make money at just about anything that they put the effort into, right? Yes. So that's, I really truly believe that this is for everybody, whether it's the business that we start or any business for that. Like we put all of our effort into going to work every day, five days a week for eight hours a day if you're lucky, right? Today people are working double and more than that. You know, you spend more time away from home and away from the people that you love so that you can afford to provide for the people that you love right. All right if we could do this on our on land where we where we're comfortable what a freaking awesome freaking dream come true it was made a little easier for us the decision was made a little easier for us when somebody had offered to to like partner with us on it they're already in the business, right? So they asked us if we wanted to do part, they would do the other part. Yes. And we were like, freaking awesome, man. Now we don't have to figure out that part, which means now we can figure out chickens, mm -hmm. you know, and all the other crazy things that we've seen all of our favorite homestead channels doing, you know, and guys are you super excited to find out what we got going on we are super excited to share it with you we are and it's so freaking super exciting anyways when we do reveal it if you don't already currently know what it is you're gonna be blown out of your socks <laughs> so let's, let's just... check it out you guys last December we planted these beds right yep last fall we built them right and in the winter we planted them right right and if they say if you plant your garden it will grow yes so this garden is there's our business in a nutshell how freaking exciting is that can you believe it these things man are so cool like they wiggle around and they eat all the muck and the yuck and how freaking exciting is that man <laughs> huh? there you have it you guys there we're you have going it. into the worm business hey <laughs> we are starting a worm farm as some of you may know who have been following along with us we have had a few issues with predators yep. well after December after we planted these things we had suffered a pretty big loss we did I do believe it had it was a combination of things like we had about a hundred pounds of worms and they were in multiple boxes somehow all these heavy boxes got stacked together and smushed and smushed and it stressed the worms so luckily the post office had contacted us real early because the lady the called us and said please come down here and get your packages there's worms all over the place there is though so our worms were escaping it, they really only do that when they're stressed out so right. they was trying to get out and they was getting out everywhere right so we got them here to the property the beds were prepared 
yes we got them planted but right after that you guys we ended up getting a freezing rain so that had another effect on us so yes. we were we were a little worried on that one but yeah. i do believe that we lost probably about 35 to 50 percent of the worms that we had planted however just with little effort we have i do believe recovered all of that plus right did take a little loss which is that's usually how businesses start there's a learning yes. curve yes. and our learning curve may cost us every now and again because we are choosing not to over educate ourselves with the worm industry right it can sometimes get over complicated and look so expensive that it becomes uh, it's discouraging and yes yeah, very right? discouraging right and it's easy for me to get insecure about things that i don't know about right like uh like building the house get really insecure about some things because I've never done it right. like the concrete man and we watched people that we loved watching on YouTube right do some concrete man oh, and they yes. had a hard time and I'm like there's no freaking way dude it made us so scared it's made us scared to try it ourselves yes. but I think that we're gonna do it we're gonna do it anyways because the price scares us more than messing it up I guess I don't know right. plus I think we have some people that we are gonna call on maybe yeah. to to help us but thank you yes. simple life yes thank you simple life for teaching us some of the things that went wrong with yours we just trail off every single time mm -hmm. where was i oh it was about the predators after after we uh took those first two hits we uh we recovered all of the losses i believe we haven't harvested yet so we don't know for sure but when you search the beds you find the worms all right which is a bonus right so if they were unhappy, they wouldn't be there. So after that though, we started finding other predator issues or other losses, which became, you know, we found out that they were predator issues, whatever. We have been struggling with moles. I believe we got a couple of answers to that, mm -hmm. right? We did come up with a solution. We have traps that we've been using. But we also have Gidget, and she's been very helpful of keeping the moles away from the worm beds. Um, but another predator that we ended up facing was the... The armadillo. Yes. And the armadillo was a very, it was very short. Like, their attacks were very sh short-lived. It was like a couple of weeks. But they were vicious. They were vicious. So our, at that point, our beds were still covered. The mm -hmm. perimeters were what were ex what was exposed. And they ravaged the perimeter. And they did. They hit us pretty hard. Mm -hmm. So we decided to put the electric fence up. First, we tried to hunt them and scare yeah. them and do everything we could do to try to deter them from coming over here. But this was like a buffet, man. And we don't stay up late, so it yeah. was just impossible for yeah. us. <laughs> Arm armadillos come out when we're in bed. Yes. So. so Yeah, we can't fool ourselves. We ain't staying up all night. Yeah. Yeah. But we ended up putting up the electric fence, and so far it's been pretty effective. It has. Um, it has. We did have some con concerns that our electric fence was also affecting the worms. The worms, because yeah. after the armadillo attacks, we started not seeing the worms as much. Yeah. Right. But it, I do believe that it's not the fence. I believe that they that, were just a little dry. Yeah, it's starting to get drier you know and worms love water so that's what we're doing now and all the worms are coming back i believe what they did was just dug a little deeper yes right because earth provides the worm bin mm -hmm. gives them what they need mm -hmm. and since we started feeding and watering we've we found all our worms again they're coming back it's just like any other creature or animal. It will seek its environment that it needs to survive. So right. if you provide the environment and the needs of whatever it is, then it most likely will flourish. So we're trying our hand at it and you guys are welcome to follow along. And even the hits were, it's not a total loss for us, right? right? Like we lost worms, we know that. But because of that, it scared us enough to try to find resolutions, right? Like came desperate for a short, for a short time. Mm -hmm. And in our journey, in our, our journey to find the answer, 
found out that we have a whole crap load of worms on our oh property. Oh my goodness. Anyways. You guys, we are just, I mean, we're rolling in worms. Yes. So let's go check out this other thing that we just discovered. We knew that there was worms here because every time you kick over something organic, there's, there's some worms. worms. On this scale is something completely different. It was different. very exciting. Yes. To find what we found down here. Take a look at it. The journey here has has been exciting. It has. It has. We followed all the YouTube channels, all the you know the big yep, all the homestead channels you know and new ones old ones yeah. there's so many i mean we're a little disconnected now we don't get to follow people as much as we did before right um we just got so much going on you guys but we miss you guys and we think think of what you guys got going on and can't wait to catch up with everyone so yeah. <laughs> plus when you're dealing with your chickens so are we yeah yeah how cool we're living the dream, truly we are. So check it out, you guys. All right, are you ready? All right, but they're everywhere. And I'll just tell you that a lot of people say this stuff smells like money. So part of the story that we're trying to share with you guys is that we want to do something that anybody else could possibly do. Um, low startup, low cost, something that you can find in nature. Uh, there's a lot of resources out there. Something that you have in your backyard, the next person may not have in theirs. And you could always uh, add to it to help it flourish more or produce more. Um, to make it scalable to your needs so uh, go ahead and share in our journey you guys and see if we can be successful at this and we look forward to sharing our ups and our downs and everything with you along the way yeah we are we're super excited about this yes even if worms aren't that exciting yes we're freaking <laughs> excited about it because I mean it's our efforts Yes, we've already, you know, we built one business and it was so hard to just say goodbye to. We met so many wonderful people and developed so many wonderful relationships, yep. gained many family members. Um, but, yep, you know, miss our, you, ben. Yep, our journey took us um, on a different path and we miss you guys and Thank you guys all that are out there supporting our new journey. You guys are amazing. Uh, we are now monetized, so big shout out to all of our supporters. Thank you guys. Yep. All right, well, you guys have an amazing day. If you guys enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. It really helps us when you share our video. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.